A summer vacation can consist of many things, and for Canadians often includes camping trips, cottage rentals, or even a road trip to see a new part of the country. Now, having spent nearly two decades traveling coast to coast on fishing and hunting adventures, I've seen some pretty spectacular places. So when it came to planning a summer road trip for me in August, it was a no-brainer. A father-daughter fishing trip to the fishing capital of Ontario. <laughs> Give me five. Algoma country. The Highway 17 corridor between Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie is an angler's paradise. Countless inland lakes, rivers and streams, all lying on the north shore of Lake Huron and just a short drive from the Greater Toronto Area. This area has countless options for any style of fishing vacation. Our first stop on our fishing adventure was Waterfalls Lodge. This is a hidden gem that lies just minutes off the highway and promises an exciting family adventure. We're only five kilometers or three miles off the highway and you can drive in on a good stone road and drive in and you can park right beside your waterfront cottage. I see my bedroom. So Waterfalls Lodge offers luxury in the wilderness with our waterfront cottages. Okay, so you'll find them very spacious, clean, well-maintained, and um, you'll be very comfortable in our cabins. So we, we also provide an awesome store and bait shop with live bait, minnows, night crawlers, and even leeches. We also have a wall full of tackle, and all the tackle items are, are, will work here. So if you're missing something from your tackle box or need a new fishing rod. What did you find? We have that all here in our store slash bait shop. Okay, we're ready to go. Are you ready to go fishing there? Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're ready to go. So any of our guests, we always go over the lake map. It's and a good idea. We have this map put together. It has some details on the map to help you get started with fishing. So we have five lakes in total. Uh, with waterfalls in between. So one, two, three, four, five lakes, 14 miles in length in total. And it's just over 10,000 acres of water Holy. altogether. And it's mostly rock structure with some weed beds, but you're fishing mostly with rock structure. Yep. Drop-offs, points, undercuts, boulders. Wow. If you can throw in a, a fallen tree in that, okay, that's prime area They're known to catch a bass around a fallen tree, hey? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we're not keeping any fish. We're going to let everything go so we don't have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect because that's what we promote here is mostly catch and release nice. fishing. Okay. Uh, our guests can eat fresh fish while you stay with us. Gotcha. Okay. No bringing them home. We ask them not to take fish Yeah, that's home. smart. And also we ask our guests to release all big fish. Yep. And on the map here, we have sizes that we call trophy size fish. Gotcha. 18 inch smallmouth or bigger, 25 inch walleye or bigger, 30 inch northern pike or bigger. We ask you to take photos let them go. and let them go. Bring me the photos and I'll reward you for doing that. Nice. Well, we're looking forward to it. Let's Excellent. get the boat in the water. Okay, let's, let's get you going here. You're gonna be the map keeper? Okay, come on here. <laughs> Fold this up and keep it in your pocket. Don't lose it. It's our only way to find our way back to the lodge. <laughs> this portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. On our first morning, we got some pointers for Rob about the lake and some spots where we might get some topwater bass action. And then it was into the Lund and down the lake to explore and hopefully find some fish. Okay, we're here. I'm going to tie you on a couple lures. Okay. Top water first. Look at that, eh? Looks like a frog. It is a frog. Why are you thinking that? Because of all the weeds and lily pads in here? Yes. You're going to be fishing before me. <laughs> okay, your rod's ready. Okay. Okay? okay. No, you don't need to fish yet. Okay. Yeah, that has a little propeller on it, kid. Yeah. So you can 
reel it back to the boat like a buzz bait, or you cast it out and twitch it so it looks like it's injured. And we're casted towards shore. Okay. Not hard. Just overhead cast too, right? Not sidearm. Yep. <laughs> Not hard. Watch me. Look, the lure will fly by itself really far. Okay? Okay. There you go. Try again. Over your head. Nice sweeping motion and let it go out. There you go. Perfect. Now, based on how far you can cast, I'll get us too close to shore. With... There's one. See that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Set the hook. You got him. Not a girl. Oh, it's big. <laughs> Take your time, Munchkin. Not a girl. Oh, he's strong. Lift up your rod in the air. <laughs> got one. <laughs> Did it scare you when it bit? Yeah. That's a nice one. Oh, he's off. He's off. I got him. That's a nice bass, kiddo. You gonna hold him? Yeah. Okay, lay your rod down. He's strong, okay? So what's gonna happen is he's gonna try and flip his tail, but see if you hold his jaw open, he won't flip. You gotta put your thumb in there. Oh. Step over here so you're not stepping on fishing rods. I like putting my thumb on that side. In there. Grab him by the belly with the other hand. Support him. You gonna let him go? <laughs> Kneel down. Okay, let him go. Not a girl. Give me fish slime five. <laughs> There's a towel behind you. Wet. Look at this. Waka, look. There's two. Yeah, there's two. It's a baby and a mommy, maybe. Oh my god. They're gonna smack your tail. <laughs> oh, did you see that? <laughs> okay, when you're casting, I want you to look up at those tree tops. Okay. Okay? And pretend you're gonna send your lure into the top of those trees way back there. See if you can do that. That a girl. There, you got one. Set the hook. Fight him. Looks like a good one. <laughs> Reel that fish. Is it still on? Oh, it's pulling your drag. Look at this. It's going to jump. Oh, it's a big one, Goosey. Oh, kid. Oh, my God, August. Don't lose him. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Wow, it's pulling your drag. Whoa! <laughs> no way! Pull him, pull him! Okay. Got him yes. again! Woo! That's Ow. action, eh? Sorry about that. <laughs> I got it. I'm that really hurt. Here. Whatever. <laughs> That's a nice smallie, kiddo. Yes. Wow. You're out fishing your dad. Yay! How, how would you say how big is he? How many pounds? Oh, that's probably, I don't know. Two and a half. <gasps> you gotta hold him and let him go. Okay. Wanna measure him? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, lay it right here where it says storm. Okay, you ready? We're gonna measure him. He can put his nose here. And his tail. 16, almost he, 17 no, centimeters. 17 inches. Inches, wow. But how many That's centimeters? one short of a... That's 43 centimeters. Yeah, Four. one short of getting uh, on the wall of fame here. <laughs> you need one inch bigger, 17 inches. So he's probably almost a three pounder. You wanna let him go right here? Yeah. Okay. Yep, okay, yeah. put your knees here. Okay, one thumb in here. Your other one under his tummy. Lean, lean over in case he falls. Hold him tight. Fish high five. <laughs> Nice one. I didn't get that slimy this time. Hmm. 17 inch bass. Not bad. Am I ever going to catch one? This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Browning Ammunition. There we go. We're back. <laughs> There's a beaver house. Cast to it. There's a beaver house. Cast to it. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Echo. Echo. My echo has a girl voice. My echo has a girl voice. I'm an idiot. Daddy's an idiot. <laughs> for those looking for an area that's not far from home and offers spectacular scenery and world-class fishing, the Algoma region of Ontario is a must-see. Where would a giant bass live? Where would a giant bass live?
live. Echo. Echo. Oh, got him, got him. Off the break. Deep water, kid. I'm gonna need the net, August, it's big. Whoa, it's a nice one. Whoa. <laughs> Lift. Good net job. <laughs> oh. Easy now. Uh, hey. Oh. He's going crazy in the net, kid. Mine is bigger. It's not about big, it's about having fun, and that was fun. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the bar, everything's in the net. Ow! <laughs> Woo! You wanna let him go? Eh, it's your fish. Ta da! I wanna pet him. I wanna pet him. Okay. Head first. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, kid. Yay. Quick with the net. Ah, nice. That's how you pull it back. That's how you cut it short. Good job. Oh, gus, gus. <laughs> He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. Oh, look how I'm gonna over top of you. Oh, see that leap, kid? Real hard. Oh, no. Okay, let me get the net. Does he need the net? He's hooked good. I'm just gonna make a quick decision. Oh, there you go, kid. Whoa. <laughs> you grab the pliers, they're behind you. Me? Yep. Grab them. Okay. Holy smokes, he ate it. Hey, take it easy. You like how the mink coat is parking us? I put it on spot lock. We won't go anywhere. You got to release this fella. Okay. Oh, he's got hooks all over him. Okay. You come on over here. I got this. Okay. You grab him the way you grab him. Put him back nice and gentle. Get a grip. Hold his belly. He's a fatty. Hey, high yeah. five, high five. Fish high five. Yeah. You're supposed to wipe it on your towel, or me. <laughs> your life jacket's gonna smell like bath. <laughs> what do you say we go back and go swimming? Yeah. Maybe we'll come out in the evening and try you and catch a big one. Better wash me in the air. I can't breathe. Oh, all right. Well, let's go swimming. Yay! After a great day on the water, Waterfalls Lodge's comfortable modern accommodations make it easy to relax at the end of the day. Of course, relaxing wasn't on August's mind. And exploring the property and having some fun outside is a great way to enjoy Algoma's great outdoors. And one of the things that are uh, a real hit for families is our beach area. We've owned it for 14 years and it's our pride and joy. Um, we enjoy all the people that come in here. It's just awesome. Yes, I got it. You. Along with our cottages, we have a, a wonderful restaurant that we call the dining room and it's all set up ready to go for you. And this is what we're all about. Here at Waterfalls Lodge is where you come as a guest and leave as a friend. That's just not with Kathy and I, that's with our staff and other guests that we have here at the lodge. Our logo is come as a guest and leave as a friend, and we like that. <laughs> this is the only place to go in Northern Ontario. <laughs> Seven lucky lakes. I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. Way to come. We like that, having people here and leave as hugs and, and I'll be back. I love that part about it in the dining room. The Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge over the fish, August and I used the Lund 1875 Pro V Bass and 200 horsepower Mercury Pro XS to get up the lake. Humminbird's Helix 10 side imaging showed us where the reefs and rock piles were, and the Minn Kota Ultrax spot lock feature held us in place so we could cast Rapala skitter props and storm chug bugs over the rocks. 
12 pound suffix advanced mono made for easy casting and a Lucky Strike net made sure all the fish came in the boat to be unhooked and released with ease using CUDA needle nose pliers. Pretty tired from catching them all, huh? So I, I get the deck for a few minutes? Yeah. You're done? Putting on a clinic? Yeah. I caught them all day today, so you get the deck today so you can catch them. Top water expert. Look at them out here. I don't know if that's a weed bed or that's fish scattered amongst weed. So you're not going to try to catch any more? Not for right now. All right, I'm going to get the big one of the day. I don't know. Oh, there's a good one. I got one. Yay. Oh, it's a real big one, August. Bring the net. I'm not joking. Oh, 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 oh I told you I was going to get the big one, Curly. Oh, oh, don't get off. He's under the boat. He's under the boat, August, Dan. He's right here. Come up here. Oh my gosh. Scoop him. You did it. You got me the big one. Yeah. It's not. 21, 22 inches. No. No? Maybe like 18. Give me five. <laughs> Thanks for letting me catch one. <laughs> Wowzers, it's a big beefer. You getting the measuring stick? Yep. <sighs> so, let's just... Ooh. Okay. It is just 17 inches. Oh, he's just breaking 17 by a millimeter. Wow. Told you. you. Want a picture with him or you want to let him go? You can let him go. You caught it. Let him go right off the side there in the sun. You go, girl. You go. You let him go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, she got bass thumb now. Oh, I've had it all day. Oh, jeez, I can't believe this kid. I've had it all day. I'm gonna have some candy corn. Oh, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, wow, August, look at that. Oh, he's going, he's going. Watch, August, he's going in. I love turtles. Shh. He's slipping in. Oh. Oh, gee, what is it? Get out there and catch one, Gomer. Go! Ah! Giant! You got a fish? I got him, August. Go, Daddy. You think you'll leave the net? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna jump. Oh, see the size of him, Annie? <laughs> this might be a 19 incher. I don't know. Did you see that? He's gonna jump again. Oh, oh. he's barely hooked. Maybe a 17 incher. I'm scared. Okay, get the net in the water. Yeah. Good scoop. Ooh, I think this is the biggest fish of the tournament here no, for us. No, no, no. No? Look at the guts on them. There you go, does. Okay, the measuring stick is ready. Okay, measure. Measuring time. Look at you, you've already got it laid out, eh? Uh-huh. Is that your favorite part of the boat, the measuring stick? Yes. I didn't even know we you. had it. I'm gonna beat you. Are you not? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Hang on, fork his tail for me. Me? Yep, fork it. Oh! 17, yes. Just a millimeter under a 17 inch bass. Look at the stomach on it though. Big fat one. Yeah. Maybe like two bass. Yeah, well, he's gonna go and become a 19 incher one day. So close to tying your record. It's fun here. It's fun what? Here. It is a nice place, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun here. <laughs> <laughs>